Hello, welcome to Aquaculture Insight, the channel that helps you to learn more about aquaculture. In this video, Til Aqua Production Manager Jeroen Schubhoff is going to give us an in-depth view on how they breed tilapia. spawning tank where the natural reproduction happens. The males um, are in the flower pots, their territory, where a female is attracted to spawn inside the flower pot. The male fertilizes the eggs, then the female takes the eggs in her mouth and she swims away and she swims with the eggs in her mouth for approximately 10 days until the larvae are developed and then she releases the fry and just before that moment, that's the moment where we collect the eggs from the female. After we have collected the eggs from the, from the spawning tank, at the moment of collecting the eggs, we already make a distinction in the development of the eggs. So it's a kind of pre-grading, and we keep the different developmental stages of the eggs separately. So all the eggs in one jar are more or less of the same age. And we put them in these incubation jars where they stay in motion, just like in the, the egg, or the, the mouth of the female. They also stay in motion in the, in the mouth of the female. Um, and the eggs of the tilapia need to keep moving. And they develop in these jars for about 10 days if they are young. And then they are fully developed. And then the, the developed larvae can swim up and go all the way up and they are flushed in these uh, small tanks and from these tanks we collect the eggs and we transfer them to a different system where we can start feeding the larvae. After hatching, when the first feeding starts, they get immediately a dry feed. So we don't need to feed them artemia or any live feed. They start immediately with dry feed of 0 0.2, 0 0.3 millimeters. They get that feed for approximately 10 to 14 days and then the fish are graded for the first time and then they can be fed with a slightly larger feed of about 3 to 5 millimeters diameter which is still looks like a powder and they will stay in these systems for about 3 weeks and then they weigh approximately 0.2 grams um, which is almost 20 times as big as when they are hatched and uh, at a size of 0.2 grams they are sold to customers and uh, shipped to the customer. 